Good morning guys. It's Tuesday morning. It's a glorious sunny cold day. Actually it's not too cold but it's nice out. We're gonna put Finn on lunge line this morning and uh, we're gonna feed him after. Just to see if he's good enough to stay in or, or good enough to go out with the other horses or he'll have to stay in and suffer like Storm did for a couple days. We're feeding Finn after we lunge. We're feeding them all after, how about that? Okay. I don't think it's right feeding one horse and not the other ones. All right, so we're getting ready to lunge Finn and we'll see how he is. Obviously, I can't tell unless it's a big noticeable difference. But we'll see what happens. Spectators are eating their hay outside. They didn't get their grain yet either. They're anxious. They're going, why didn't we get our grain yet? Feed them all at the same time. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Does he look all right? Yeah. Looks okay to me. Well, so far he looks all right. He looks a little bit stiff, but he looks all right to me. I think he's good to go out in the field. We're going to try the other way and lunge him the other way and see if there's a difference too. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. Does he look stiff there? Yeah, I'm seeing the wrong foot, so I don't know if I'm seeing it right or not. But in life, call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. The other direction was way better. This is this direction. It's his left hind leg. It looks like it's his right hind leg. Okay, watch. I'm seeing his right hind leg. His left is good. That looks good to me though. The hind leg closest to the wall is fine. Slow it. It just looks like it's his right hind leg. I think I think he's fine. You think we should keep him in? I want to see him go the other way first. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, oh, oh. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the creek. Seems to think. That Gabby seems to think that he's a little bit off still. Better than yesterday though. When you lunge him you can see in his left back. Yeah. I'm not good at I'm not good at at figuring that out because to me, if he's really lame then I can tell, but it, when he's a little bit off I can't tell a thing. It looks good to me. But anyways, we're gonna put him out in the field today with the other boys and hopefully yeah, if it just gets worse, then he's If it gets worse, then we'll bring him in, and if it doesn't, then we'll leave him out. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Tuesday, and Sam is home. The horses I see are outside enjoying life, and as Sam and I are getting ready to do some shopping. But there's a problem. There's a problem in our house, Sam. I, um, my grandkids might get to come and spend the night one day this weekend, and I am super excited. We also might get to go for a long trail ride this weekend, and I am super excited. I went downstairs to find some toys and some fun stuff for my grandkids to play yeah, with. There was a demon down there? Yeah, there was a demon down there. Gabby, how did you know there was a demon? I am looking for this book. Do you guys remember? OG members might remember this. I made this binder of amazing Velcro learning tools. And 
and it's such a fun book and when we were moving here I told Sam not to wreck it not to lose it not to get it anywhere because I wanted to keep this book it cost me $200 to make this book I had to print everything oh, I had to wow. yeah so I went upstairs super excited I did not give it away why do you think I gave it away Cause. please I give it away, but they didn't want it. no I never tried to give it away it is like such an amazing thing do you know where my book is no. tell me the truth did he sell it? I feel like Sam got rid of my book. I I've never it. been able to find it. But anyway, back to the demon. Uh, yeah, I went downstairs. I was looking for it. Sophie was upstairs. And I opened a box and I was rifling through it. And a mouse climbed right over top of my hand, up my arm. And I was screaming hysterically. Guess who came to save me? Dustpan? Nobody. Not a single person. Sophie didn't even say, are you okay? I just was screaming. Like, what? I have a headache now. I so that with a burglar so she closed the bathroom door. You locked you herself in. in. <laughs> you can't lock the bathroom door. <laughs> yeah, so basically there's a mouse downstairs. You gotta go kill it or find my book for me. Okay? Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. Okay, so we are gonna go down and find the demon. I mean, it could have left the hot house because of how badly I was screaming. <laughs> Does anybody have a phone for a light? You guys, be prepared for me to scream. So see that one with the white lid? Yeah. It's in there. in there? Yeah. There's a lid. I know, I closed the lid, I was smart. It climbed right up my arm, that was the problem. How did you get trapped in there? So, uh, in there oh, were yeah. some walkie talkies, and I was thinking they would be good for sleeping in the. Oh, they don't quite work. Is there babies? No. Is that its house? Yeah. Yeah, it has there? a. It built a house inside of a bag. Oh, smart. What's in there? Let me see it. Paper. Oh, that is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying. No, that. What? Behind you. <laughs> Gabby found the demon. <laughs> it's yeah. just watching us. Yeah. All right, you're paying those babies in here. It's a sad day, but I'm throwing away. Threw away that poor mouse's house, and I don't even feel that bad about it because you I want him to- You threw away mouse's house? Yeah, I want him to find his own house. All right, let's talk about Molly's night last night. Last night was day two in the crate. How did it go? Good. What did she do? Wine. Did she whine? A little bit. For five seconds at the beginning. And then she settled down and slept the whole entire night like yeah, a princess. Yeah, but first, um, she slept in my bed until dad was ready to go. It is true. We decided to compromise last night when we put her to bed. She loves to sleep with Gabby and it's her big favorite routine. They go for a long run. She goes for a pee. And then they climb in bed together. Usually Molly is really excited to go to bed at night. Like she call, climbs down on her pillow in Gabby's bed and is is out. Like she doesn't even want to do anything. And then she also sleeps at the window too and sometimes she cuddles up next to me. Okay, so we gave her that same routine and then when Sam went to bed later, he took her out for another pee. Like at midnight. Yeah, and then he put her in with Ruby. Ruby, how was your night with the puppy? Tell them, tell them, were you feeling abused? Oh, she said no. Ruby, did you mind babysitting the puppy in the night? Oh, she kind of, she's like, don't even talk to me about it. Ruby. Ruby. Sit. Sit. Ruby. <laughs> she, she doesn't know what to do. She either goes to me or goes to the person with treats. Okay, listen. Are you okay? Are you mentally damaged? Will you be okay if you've spent a few nights sleeping with the puppy? So it is true, Mal, um, in the past we've done that often, we've given our puppies, we've put our puppies in a crate with a friend to sleep with to help oh, them transition, you know, and we've had really good results with it. One, they have a friend so they're not alone. Two, they're still learning to be in a crate and be crate trained. Three, um, you guys know we got Molly when she was six weeks old, that's what, um, when her owners were rehoming all the puppies, so, so all the puppies were leaving at six weeks. The most important part of having puppies until they're eight weeks is socialization. Um, 
and unfortunately she missed out on that as did all her other litter mates but lucky for our puppy we have uh, four other dogs four and they socialize molly uh, perfectly she is a well adjusted getting to be very socialized puppy uh ruby is an awesome socializer she gets her in trouble when she needs to just like her mom would um, and putting them together in the crate last night did amazing things. Luckily for Ruby, Molly whined for a few seconds and Ruby didn't even have to put her in her place. Like she just settled down and they slept together. And you guys should know Ruby's been wanting a friend for so long. Ruby has been wanting a friend for so long and finally she has a friend. She has a friend to share her crate. She has a friend to a friend for life. There's a relationship building between the two of them just like there's a relationship building between us and our puppy and putting them together in a crate especially at the beginning like this has only been a win-win. Not abusive. Not bad. We've had a lot of dogs in our past. We even rehabilitated dogs and trained dogs for the humanes for our local humane society. We fostered, we rescued, oh, no, we've done it when all. We went to like where the kennels are, like the dog kennels, and we walked the dogs or something. Yeah, we volunteered. We, we used to before had... before you were born, Gabby, they would call us um when they had a pregnant dog that was not good in a shelter situation and the dog would come and stay with us, give birth with us, and we would keep the puppies until they were eight weeks old and do all the potty training and all the socialization, the taking them outside. We would do all of it before they'd go to their new homes. Mm -hmm. Then we would help screen for new homes. It was such a fun time. I remember Cookie had tons of babies. Sophie's like, what? You did that without me? We did do that. We did that for years. We did that for so many years. And then we had you guys and stopped everything. Speak. Yay. Okay, so Gabby's been teaching Molly to speak, and I do not know if it's such a good thing. Speak. Speak. Good girl. Speak. Good girl. So this is uh, the beginning stages of Sam's chicken run. I know it's not very high. We're probably going to cover this with a tarp to protect them from the sun. It's not as high as I wanted it. It's not exactly perfect. It's not the way that other people would do it but it's Dude, ours i know i just was explaining to them that i we get that will, we will figure it out if any chicken jumps this we will oh. change it make it better well, but this is how sam wants to make it and i yeah, am not going to argue with him so this is the chicken in question i don't know Hi. penny Pennywise. are you a girl <laughs> Are if you? it's a girl it's penny if it's a boy it's pennywise i think it's a girl if it's a boy, it's Pennywise. It's the only the only thing that let's turn it upside down. Short. Okay, this is disgusting. Don't look if you're against chicken bits. But that's a girl, right? You guys see it? It has to be a girl. That's a well, I don't know. That's where the egg. Pennywise. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be a girl. How to teach your dog oh to be God. a ch to be a chicken catcher. She's like, let me get them. Don't let her chew that. Molly. Uh, ah. All right, turn this one upside down. This We're is Zoe. Do a comparison shot here. Mm. It's weird that they're skinny still. They're just young. I think this is the one that's getting beat up because the other ones are fat. No, she's not getting beat up. She looks healthy and good. Yeah. They're just skinny because they're young. We feed them like around the clock. They have 24 hours of food. Look at how nice her legs are. I'm proud of that. Our biggest predators for our chickens are our dogs. I can't believe we're gonna have two big dogs. <laughs> they both wanna attack the chickens. Okay, so I just looked it up online and chickens and roosters both have vents. So, yeah, I still don't know if it's a chicken or a rooster. It's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know why it matters so much, but it does. I just gotta know. I just have to know. Oh, I got mail. I didn't put it on. Yeah. Thanks for always keeping it sexy. Well, these better not be sexy. Oh, there's three. Okay. Yeah, I ordered you three. Gray. I got it. It's just like my kind. Yeah. Just a different color. Really similar to what she has now, but just a different color. So Gabby got, we got dark it. gray, light gray, Ruby. and navy. If you're a boy, close your eyes. <laughs> Do you like them? There you go, Molly. Really cute. I'm glad they came. That's the thing. Ordering has been a nightmare for us, ordering things. This is the coolest sprinkler on earth. Could you imagine this in the horse field? Spraying water for them? Uh, they'd be like afraid. They would they'd be afraid at first, but then they think it's another horse and then 
day one is amazing. I love it. It's 60 bucks, it's so cool. So remember when we were here looking at pools? Sam said he would buy me a pool for Mother's Day and so we came today to get it because every time we're out, we only have a van. We needed the truck. We got the truck and there's no pools. We are on our third store and we're looking for a pool. We wanted that 18 foot pool uh, for us because it's a bigger size. We might end up getting the 16 foot. It's supposed to be warm this weekend. If it gets warm, there will be no pools to be found. So basically Sam is trying to fulfill his promise to me to buy me a pool and we're just traveling around to stores looking for the pool, uh, looking for a pool. It's 3 p.m. and the girls are starving and we're starving because we've been running the road all day so we decided we're gonna have early super early supper we're gonna have supper and then we're gonna take our ponies for a walk because we haven't done it in a long time it's still cold it snowed today literally my life is waiting for warmth waiting for the heat to come you guys we bought something super crazy for the horses today i don't know if you guys can guess yeah future video coming up soon sam also got himself a new keurig today is it keurig yeah I gave up coffee, so I won't be using it. Let's get brewing. That's right, the other one sucks. This is the new fancy model. Are you gonna keep the old one for the trailer? No, it's no the old one gets plugged. But we could clean it and put it in the trailer. It is freezing, literally so cold. I can't even get over it. The horses are all looking at us. I've, I haven't been down to the barn for this entire day. I feel like we spent the whole entire day shopping. What do you guys think? So this is not the one that I wanted. I wanted the 18 foot pool. I wanted the 18 foot pool. This is the one that we got. It's a 16 foot. I feel like this is the one God wanted us to have. I feel like nothing happens in life by chance. Nothing, not a single thing. Everything is set out for us. We just have to follow along and let God lead us. And when we do that, that's when the best things happen to us. Hey, Miss Fancy Pants, with your bike in the barn. Do you still want to go? Uh huh. All right. I'm. It's gonna rain. You think it's gonna rain? I felt a drop. Felt a drop. Oh, I'm loving Gabby's outfit today. Show them. She's never wore this together before, but that color. Let's see the shirt. I have. Did you wear it before? But that color of shirt, the burgundy with those gray pants, that like, I love those colors together. Let's see, did our poles dry? Did yeah. No, don't touch the yellow. No, they're still sticky. All no, right. I, I flipped the yellow over today. Tell you me. flipped the yellow over today and painted it? Uh -huh. You did that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Smart. You have my work ethic. What did you do today? Did you wash your face when I told you to? Yes. You washed your chin that was there for three days. Did you wash your face just now when I just told you to? Yes, I put water on it. Did you do it right there? No. <laughs> <laughs> we will finish our poles tomorrow, finish like these ones. It's gonna take us a while to get the poles done, you guys. You really wanna go? Uh -huh. right. bike so that we can get home. I'm taking a pony with me because I Take love, I love taking Gracie for a walk. Gabby and Kaylee might get to go on a trail ride and it's gonna be so much fun. Like it's gonna be the trail ride of trail rides because I'm walking <laughs> and they're gonna get to do so much more than they've ever done before. Are you ready to take Gino on a trail? Mm -hmm. To a real trail ride? I want to gallop, I want to gallop. But we can't quite gallop because you're not there. But even if you're Oh, I'll be there. You can't. You guys can go ahead of me, but I mean, most most trail riding is walking, but I'll keep up, don't worry. That's good, it's gonna be so fun. We're going to the place where we went before where the pond was, where that big oh, no. puddle, remember the puddle? Oh, shit. We're, just, we're still going. Remember the puddle where a storm tried to roll on you guys? Uh-huh. That's where we're gonna go. Come on, guys. Woo! Tech. We can go? Yeah. Oh. Oh God, go get her. Get, oh my God, Sophie, go get her. Oh my God, go Sophie, go and get her. Here she goes. Honestly, I bring the halter out for this horse and she's like shoving her face in it. I wish I could bring her on a trail ride and take her just for a walk. She'd have so much fun. Her horses literally love going for walks. Our ponies love it. Even Willow, 
loves it. Things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. You guys, I just ran for five minutes straight with her. It was amazing. Like, running with Gracie, I can't even describe it. She's the only horse that I've ever run with that feels amazing. Like, she stays neck and neck with me. She goes at my pace, and we just run, and she gives me strength somehow. I don't know. It's, it's so good. Like, do you like running with her? Did you like running? We all took a turn to run with her. Do you like running with her? Yeah. You can manage Gracie. She doesn't freak out. She doesn't spook, which is, like, massive. She used to freak out. Too. Do you guys remember when we brought Stella here, and Stella was so scared and nervous, and we brought her to this little tiny farm, and she found her place, and she felt so much better and relaxed. I feel like that's happening with Gracie. I feel like Gracie's finding her place. No, Gracie just loves trails. She does. She loves trails. Like She loves this place because there's trails. That's I'm excited for her oh, to be the God. pony of my grandkids. Like She's young still. She's got so much life left in her. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And she is going to be like the best little pony for my grandkids. Yeah, let's go up. I'm dying of thirst. Oh, the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I the future